Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Sayeshon here. Welcome back to the channel, where today we have an Iceborne Spiders deck. This has pretty much been built since the beginning of the expansion, since Iceborne has really been released. But, um, oops, sorry about that. But I wanted to highlight the deck because I think it's really powerful, and it's not really played that often. It is a little dependent on the card Iceborne Spiders, which or Iceborne Legacy, which the whole deck is aimed around. For any of those who don't know, this is the deck card that made the Iceborne Poros deck work. This is a 5-mana burst speed card that says grant an ally and all ally copies of it everywhere, plus 2, plus 2. And what you want to use this on is the Spiderling that you get off of Elise or anything like that. Because a lot of things in your deck are able to summon Spiderlings. So this can scale up really quickly, and now you're some sort of like tempo-oriented deck. You have a lot of cards that synergize with these spiders, such as Crawling Sensations, Hapless Aristocrat, Vile Feast, even cards like Brood Awakening, being able to summon three spiderlings. These cards just have never seen play up until Iceborne Legacy has been buffed, but now once you have an Iceborne Legacy to play on a spiderling, these cards have very, very high payoffs. For example, this is a 6 mana summon 3 4 threes. That is an incredible amount of tempo, especially when you have cards like Vile Feast just summoning you 3 threes, 5 fives, and all the swords. It's just a really, really powerful tempo deck, but because you are an SI for all your deck, you also have a little bit of a backup plan. Sometimes you don't draw the Iceborne Legacy, and your early to mid game is just kind of dwindling around, not really doing much. And that's where cards like Ledros and Atrocity come in. Because we have the control tools such as Vengeance, Withering Whale, Vile Feast, and a lot of chump blockers that we generate off of the Spiderlings, we can get to turn 9, turn 10 pretty easily against like an aggressive deck. Um, and then we just don't even need to play for any other game plan besides Ledros Atrocity. Um, this deck does do pretty well. I've seen it, it seems to do very, very well into a lot of different things. Like most board based tempo decks, if you're able to get an Iceborne Legacy off, you're doing a lot stronger things than pretty much any other mid range kind of unit based aggro deck out there does. Um, being able to remove a unit, summon a 3 3 for 2 mana, that seems absolutely incredible. And of course, we have one of the most broken combat tricks out there being. Troll Champ. This card is absolutely busted um, because we are a tempo based deck. This is probably one of the strongest cards to gain trades. Being able to 2 for 1 pretty much any board is so so powerful. But um, the rest of the deck is relatively standard. It's just a bunch of good Freljord SI cards. You have 3 Sisters, you have Avrogen Sentry for a little bit of draw, you have Glimpse Beyond for draw as well, Blider Veen for a little bit of removal, etc, etc, etc. But um, the deck overall, I think, is really relatively simple. Mainly, every game, you just want to find Elise um, and Iceborne Legacy. If you have both of those cards, I think you're very, very golden. It's very hard to lose from that state, and you just run over a lot of decks because suddenly you're just generating so much tempo for so little. So uh, I actually hit rank 3 with this deck. <laughs> um, not, by, not on purpose, just accidentally playing for YouTube. So... Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the games. This deck seems very powerful, and I hope you guys give it a try for yourselves. So, enjoy the games. So, like and subscribe to the video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys, and take care. I think it's most likely just a bad matchup. But, um, if we can get a lot of spiders, get Iceborne down, we can actually out try to out tempo them. Oh, baby. Woo! Wow, if he's gonna get fizzled, it's a little bit scary. I don't even think I need it. I play this on 2, this on 4. Maybe I'll keep Valfies just because it's interaction. But I like this hand so far. I like this hand a lot. Pretty much all you want is Iceborne Legacy and Elise. You can also level Elise. We can threaten their units really easily as well. Oh my god, we're pretty ballin'. It would stink if he has like, Ari and he can block the spider. Cause having the spider around for the Iceborne open is really good. So ideally there's no um, Ari to block the spider lane. Nice, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then on our turn 4 attack, we can just go in with the Iceborne. This is really good to start. Especially against this deck, all that matters is pressure. Go hard, really. Alright, that sucks. You dare. 
probably like the only time he gets to go hard the spider. It's good that he does it before turn four for sure. I would like to be able to Vile Feast this turn, but I can't get it, like, nopified or, like, denied. Yeah, he's played this really well. He's been able to deny my open Iceborne. This arm's still just Iceborning, though, I guess. I don't really have the Spiderlings to back it up, though. Uh, he plays Kinko. No Kinko, okay. It's very important that this Vile Feast doesn't get... Oh wow, he's floating a lot of mana. Really? Like you're gonna twin this? Sure. I don't want it for like a freeze, but that just seems so necessary. They already invested a lot of resources into that one. We're head on tempo, we're head on board. He doesn't have Kinko Wayfinder. He hasn't been able to balance the droplet. Seems like a pretty decent spot. He's been floating a lot of mana. He actually think he has like a sign sort of hand, something that's like a little bit bricky. Not much you can do about it. We don't really have any spider generators. Like having like the uh Falling sensation stuff would be really good here. Homecoming? I wonder if I just vengeance the droplet. Oh, there's two spells. Interesting. Um recall. I don't think there's anything I want to vengeance this turn. So clear, he just says like sign in plus maybe sign in again, maybe. Very, very interesting what his hand is. At least the one sign in. No Ari, no Wayfinder. It'd be like a homecoming. Plays out Droplet. Hmm. Yep, we're not doing anything. Ari. We can vengeance plus freeze. This probably just eats a vengeance though. Yeah, we'll just chump and then vengeance the Ari. I think a lot of mistakes are. Um, I think a mistake that a lot of people make is that they want to like vengeance the droplet, but then if they bounce the droplet, then they actually draw a card. Well, if not, you just kill like the thing that bounces it, which is Ari here. There's a nine. That's perfectly fine. I could even freeze this now. He'd have to have another twin. I don't hate it because I don't really have plates that I really need at this point. I think there is Ari here. You know, his hand's pretty bricked. Maybe he has like a sign in, something like that. But this can just like really slow him down if you can't bounce a droplet here. We already saw one twin, so he'd have to have a second twin. Sure. Too slow. Like he has three cards, right? We we're just like stressing out resources from his side. Flip trundle. Uh, ooh, I would not bounce a tail. Because then Pillar hits Ari, right? Okay, that's fine. Interesting. Not sure why he would give me a card draw there. Seems a little bit bizarre. Ah, oh, no punish, unfortunate. So close to having the punish there. Oops, that's a good draw.
Still looking very, very good. If we can get this off, you can flip Elise. And then that's going to be very scary. We can also just Iceborne again. Let's see, we have a lot of things we can do here. Hmm. So have another freeze and another vengeance to get rid of Ari, so this is looking quite fine. Question is do we just iceborne here? Push two more damage. Hmm, I think we're fine here. We can just take this game one more turn. We're not in a rush. We can even glimpse and then just like play crawling sensations. Maybe Gohard's here. No, he does. Okay. So, he has to find Pack for me to be scared. Even if he finds Pack, that's like, just like whatever, right? Like, if he packs, I just like have the Brood plus Iceborne again, and he's staring down a really threatening board. This is a very low commitment play. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're chilling. He's just out of cards. This last card might be sign in. It's the only card I can reasonably think of that he would still be holding on here. here. Hmm. Yeah, we're chilling. He needs to draw a card here. He can pull Pillar. Oh, interesting. I don't... I'm not... Yeah. Let's deny the card draw. Okay. So... He needs to hit exactly pack here. There's like what? One in six? Let's see if he has it. Oh wait, pack actually clears everything. Ooh, we have a second trundle. It's a little bit scary. I don't respect it enough. Show me, Squeeby. Show me the power of the god gamer. Ah. <laughs> He didn't have it. Huh. Winning this matchup was a little bit surprising. He definitely had a very slow hand and a very slow start. Um, uh, like no Kinko, no like real card draw, and we were able to like really stress out his resource defending his Ari, which is really good. Scouts. It's an interesting one. Like, if we are able to get an Iceborne off, we match their tempo, right? Like, we can actually match tempo if we find Iceborne. And I guess we just have Vengeance. We can play like a control deck. We'll see. If we can find Iceborne in a good spot, double Vengeance also isn't bad. Vanguard Sarge, huh? This hand sucks. <laughs> I don't I don't think I need to tell you how bad this hand is. What do I do against this? I don't know. Was I like supposed to vent? Oh. Okay, that can die at least. This is not the hand. If I had Iceborne, at least this hand might be saved. Sure. This hand is so bad. Grenation unit? Okay. Playable. Mm hmm. The first useful thing I've been able to do this turn.
This is so sad. <laughs> uh, if, I, if he has a sharp side, I really cry. Okay. He plays like Mariah Ward, I just go for the vial. Uh, I need to find something to do here. Not doing anything is not an appropriate answer anymore. Bundle? Does Bundle save me? No. Maybe for a turn. He plays like Scythria, we just lose. Nothing that trades with Trundle here. Okay. He's just gonna Fortamasi me. Damn. There's nothing we can do here. So many scout units. Yeah, we just drew terribly. Mm. Like, just doesn't have like the same amount of control tools, so if you don't draw like tempo early on, this deck just really suffers. Raven Rumble. <laughs> Between the Vengeances and Vile Feasts, I would presume this is alright, but again, we need to find Tempo, and we no longer are able to rely on traditional tools. This Freeze for like a Rumble is nice. Vengeance is also good. Kind of annoying. I was hoping for like a boom ba boom. I should have avalanches, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this deck runs avalanche. This is a little awkward. That's annoying. I can't get rid of that. Am I supposed to like fear the north bat? Seems not the greatest. I do need a fear of the north this, huh? So he plays Rumble next turn, just Vile Feast into a Vengeance. Seems alright. I've seen worse plays. <laughs> yeah, we just, uh, this just represents way too much damage for us. No Iceborne equals no tempo. Even mining this is gonna be scary. He's not going for a rumble? I wonder. We'll see. Oh, that's a good draw. No rumble. Interesting. He passed, we'll just pass back. If he wants like, might this, then like, I just vengeance it. He's not gonna play rumble, I don't really care. If he plays Draven, I'll just ravine. It's kinda clear he doesn't have rumble. Or at least I would presume he doesn't have Rumble based on how he's playing this game. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just get straight up vengeance. Sure. We have a little bit of healing. Not a lot, but some. We find an Iceborne off the top here, we're kinda bullin'. The unfortunate part is we now have no answer for Rumble, but the way he's playing again tells me he doesn't have Rumble, and by the time he draws Rumble I should draw an answer to Rumble, so it should balance out. It's a good Vile Feast. Ooh. What if we open pass? Because I still need to potentially pop Spell Shield. Cause I can ravine this turn as well if I want to. Time for the main event. Sure. Say it was 
because we have Ledros, we can take this game to the late game. Like, this is nice and chillin'. Even Rumble here is just like, whatever. He needs Might as well as Rumble. It's a good top deck. Also. Do you want to pull like this, I wonder? Okay. Oh, interesting. I would have imagined he pulled a 2-1. I can do this and then play Elise Crawling Sensation. This is perfect. If you didn't have Might, it's just whatever. And now he needs a way to kill Elise, I guess. If he kills Elise, it kind of sucks. But this can challenge Rumble now, which is really huge. Yeah, we can challenge Rumble. It's huge. We don't need to care about these because they died a whale. Let's go after Rumble here. We have a bit more healing, so it's fine. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Ooh, Glimpse is a good draw. Oh, that's huge. That's insane. So this card's likely burn. I don't think he has rumble. If he had anything, he would use it, right? He just doesn't have removal here. Nope. Perfect. The main thing we needed here is just a fearsome blocker, and we found one. And now we have Ledros Atrocity to close the game. This one's wrapped up in the books. The party has arrived. Sure. I have the troll chant to like play around things. Yep, and now we'll just go Ledros and we win the game. So, even though we didn't draw Iceborne this game, I think it was important to see how the second still play as a control game plan. And we just made it to turn 9 where we can just drop Ledros, level Trundle, and have Atrocity. Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Exactly what we're doing here. So he did have the get excited this whole time. This was very bizarre. Like, to me, if he had get excited, he would have used on the Elise, or even like on the Glimpse. I guess he wanted to save for burn, but I think at that point, Rumble was just more important to keep alive than anything else. HDR, another Ari Cannon player. All right, Iceborne plus Elise on turn two, let's go. None of these are those. Okay, we found Elise. All we need is Iceborne. In these matchups, it's like, especially when this is a long, drawn out, sort of value oriented matchup, Iceborne is so goddamn important. You can't just like get away with playing a control game plan. You need a jam and jamma. Sorry about that. Apologies. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I mean, you know, when you get to my level of gaming, you just become that good. Because now he doesn't want to block this. So this was kind of strange. Because now I get to open Iceborne on the Spiderling. And just open attack on turn 4, which is really good. The best thing here would have been like a Vile Feast. It sucks if he has a like Gohard, but at least I have the Glimpse. Now I just jam in. Just 
like a recall block. We could actually like ravine because our thing survived. He had a go hard I would have maybe expected on the spiderling on turn three. Like if he goes wide and develops here, we can like get away with like playing ravine. That's a problem. It's kind of silly. I think a glimpse here is justified. If I find like crawling sensations, fine. I don't think that notify is good for him. We'll see. Oh, I should have saved it to like soft pass. That was my bad. Because now like playing the ravine stinks. Now I'm playing the ravine stinks less. that. I should have been next turn actually. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing a little bit fast for no reason. Oh, if he's a good draw. He's still taking a lot of damage. It's not really in a position where you can just like easily a homecoming this. Unless. Yeah. Wait, why is he at 2 health? Oh. I mean, I can just go for this atrocity. Oh. Wait. What? How do you die so quickly? Hold up, I'm kind of confused. Why am I beating Kenanari? I just weren't just too good, man. I just apply so much pressure so quickly. Uh. Yordan Arm Rally? Same story. If we ice more in a spider set, we're kind of chilling. This card's good too, though. I don't have any spiders or any units. Keeping crawling might be a little bit greedy, but this card is so good if I can pull it off. Oh my god. Am I that cracked of a player, guys? Tell me. Oh my god, that's so good too. We're sitting then. So he needs to have... I don't know what he plays here that blocks this. He doesn't... He could play like Bomber Twins. Oh, that doesn't block. Sick. Uh, but by tapping under one mana here, he can't Crawling Sensations. I think that's like a line I need to consider a little bit more often. This is a free attack because he wants to block here. Ooh, cute. I don't really care about Elise though. All I needed was the Spiderling. Like the Spiderling was like the main important thing that I need on this board. Cause now I can just Iceborne Legacy it. Whoa! No, dude. What? No, I I don't get it. Does he just not know what my deck does? That one was bizarre. Less than bizarre, that was completely wrong in my opinion. The issue is we have a little bit low on stuff to do. I'm sure you could have like a sharp sight here or something like that. Um Um, like we still push six, we can vengeance a Poppy. We have troll chant to get us favorable trades. Poppy has three health, yeah. So Poppy's a little bit annoying because I can't straight up kill it. But um, oh, play <laughs> vengeance that. I just vengeance this now and play this next turn. Yeah, it seems good. Wow, he's such a good player. This is the power of Iceborne. These become just such high tempo plays. It's absolutely insane how powerful this is. I think he's just dead. It's like I have the atrocity and he can't do anything about it. And he plays like, oh buddy pal. So like he needs resolve? He's just dead. 
This deck is so dumb. Oh my god. This deck is so, so stupid.